free electricity back. How to utilize your technology for biomass? So Dada, to answer your question, Green Gyro is actually going to uh, 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 provide this innovative technology for all different countries, okay. including India. So how biomass can uh, work out over here is, okay. if you actually see there is something which is called as waste management. Okay, okay. Okay, so waste management uh, in India and throughout the world is actually being uh, uh, put forward by various governments. Mm -hmm. The reason being, collecting waste is becoming so difficult in each and every place. Correct. So, for example, even if you're taking India, for mm -hmm. example, we have villages, then you have panchayats, then mm -hmm. you have municipalities, yes. corporations, wards, yes. then you have cities. Correct. Uh, oh, in all of these places, collection of waste is the most problematic thing. Correct. So, off lay these waste management centers are being made where they collect the waste and then they utilize the waste in order to produce some sort of electricity. Okay. So, what our company is innovatively trying to do is mm -hmm. we are trying to approach a new scheme where for all the providers of waste, for example, in a house, there is someone who actually has some amount of waste which is there. Correct. So, for them, when they tend to provide that waste mm -hmm. uh, for the biomass unit, mm -hmm. we will tend to give them back free electricity for that particular house. Oh, that's and great. whatever we are mm -hmm. amplifying right, mm -hmm. from the biomass plant, we can even give, uh, like give it out to various other commercial use also. Okay. So, the entire outlook over here is whoever is providing waste, we are even looking at them mm -hmm. by giving them free electricity back. And even for all the other industrialists also who would like to utilize that electricity okay. for various other commercial purposes also, even we are even looking at that too. Okay. So, this is going to be like a win-win situation for everyone. Okay. And here the most problematic part of the collection of waste, we are going to ensure that it's going to be done in a very nice uh, particular manner okay. such that there will be no wastage around. So, yeah, okay. now like for example, there is a person in a house who will have to give about 1 kg of waste. Mm -hmm. And if he is not able to get that 1 kg waste, he will try to clean the nearby surroundings Correct. to ensure that the waste comes up to 1 kg okay, to provide okay. it. Uh -huh, uh -huh, so that okay. his whatever he is able to provide, he is able to provide. Okay. And he gets free electricity. Oh, now, there could be even another way in which some people will have their own solar powered houses okay. where they will tell, okay, we don't require that electricity. Mm -hmm. For them, what the other scheme, the scheme has like an A and a B. Mm -hmm. So, the B uh, part of the scheme is that we will pay them, suppose 1 rupee for that uh, 1 kg okay. or something like that. Uh -huh. So, they even get like a revenue side of things. Roshan, can I see the proof of concept? Definitely, Data. Why don't we just go ahead right now itself? Sure. Let's go and let's check. Sure. So, Data, you will actually see that here there are some houses. Correct. So, over here, what the exact uh, thing over here is, you would see that garbage is being collected from these houses. So, mm -hmm. there is dry waste here, there's wet waste and there's plastic. Okay. So, the entire idea over here is that in this particular village, there will be a particular biomass unit. Okay. We'll be talking to an industrialist. And all this while, this garbage did not have any particular value at all. Okay. Huh. But our company's initiative is that we are going to provide a value to this. So, since these houses have actually contributed on giving so much of garbage over here, okay. what we are planning to actually do is, we are going to take this particular garbage from them mm -hmm. and give them back electricity. Oh, so, okay. either hmm. on giving back the particular electricity, what can happen is, they get free electricity back. Okay. Suppose if the houses are being uh, powered by solar panels, then what we are actually going to do is we are actually going to give them like a particular remuneration. Okay. So for the 10 uh, kgs of garbage which they have actually given over here, we are going to give them 1 kg, uh, 1 rupee per kg okay. on Indian rupees. It's like uh -huh. 1 rupee per kg. So it comes up to like 10 rupees okay. overall. Okay. So they are going to get 10 rupees for just the garbage which they have given over here for 10 kgs. Mm -hmm. Suppose they are not able to fill in this 10 kgs, but 10 kgs is like the minimum requirement. Oh, they okay. will go and clean the nearby place also and bring and come so that they will ensure that 10 kgs oh, is being that's given. Great. Yeah. So, that is the mm -hmm. overall idea over here. Okay, okay. So, they are not only just cleaning their house, mm -hmm. they are just cleaning even the nearby surroundings Surrounding. to ensure okay. that we are able to provide okay. the actual amount of uh, garbage required for the biomass unit to give them either electricity or a remuneration. Oh. And the remaining, whatever we are able to amplify, right? Okay. See, waste management companies have been immense in India and throughout the world. Mm -hmm. This has always been there since quite a long time. Okay. But right now, what we are helping them do is, we are helping them amplify the power. Mm -hmm. Because with whatever waste that they are able to collect, mm -hmm. they are only been able to produce a limited amount of power. Okay. So, we are going to help them to amplify it to a, a bigger extent so that in this particular village itself, okay. for all other commercial activities, apart mm -hmm. from the residential which we are giving free for those people who are contributing, okay. other commercial activities, they can actually give out this particular power. Okay. Okay. So, that is our entire agenda. Okay. One, we are going to ensure that the place becomes much cleaner. 
and secondly we were also going to ensure that uh, power gets utilized correctly okay so okay. that's all that we are so okay. till now like what i told earlier garbage did not have value okay thanks correct. to green gairo right now garbage is having some value yes where yes. it's going to go back to the residents who provide the garbage and it's also going to help industrialists super, so so let me show you now from the machine perspective sure sure uh, really let's good. go so this is a particular uh, proof of concept which we have built over here okay so what you can actually see this is a fuel generator okay which is here this you can consider as an example of any uh any uh, the, any power plant which actually uses an input for example okay. this could be a thermal power plant mm -hmm. this could be a biomass unit or this could also uh, be an ongc plant okay so any plant which takes an x amount as an input okay and then it will take the electrical power which will be generated over here okay go on to our amplification device so we okay. have a 250 kilowatt amplification device okay from there there will be a particular these export wires which will transmit the particular power or onto the grid okay so right mm -hmm. now there would have been uh, like this particular proof of concept is more like if you have taken the garbage over there utilize this is a biomass unit okay. you are putting that okay. garbage over here so for it to uh, uh, get a particular electricity output but here we are going to amplify it in such a way okay. in which your overall desired output is going to be much more okay so here shivam will actually start this. okay <laughs> right now this is going to be where like a uh, garbage is put or one k or one ton of uh, coal is being utilized in case of thermal power plant okay and all of that so here you actually get about 50 kilowatt of power which is being generated okay so from this here it's up to your imagination whether you would like to utilize it as a biomass unit or whether you would like to utilize it as a thermal uh power plant okay. or an ongc wherever an input is actually being given uh -huh. mm -hmm. so this 50 kilowatt which transmits on this particular line okay. so comes over to our amplification device which okay. we have kept over there uh -huh. so if you actually follow the particular path and you keep coming okay. you would actually notice that we have a starter box over there okay which is kept for this particular machine mm -hmm. so the power which gets transmitted over to the starter box about okay. 10 kilowatt goes over that to the motor okay In the word motor it will actually start rotating these fly wheels okay so there we have a green gyro box also which is inside okay this is a 250 kilowatt so the exporting power will go out from this distribution box it will go to the grid okay and in order to know how much of power is being exported mm -hmm. this is a bi diversity meter okay so which will actually showcase the amount of power Okay. which gets exported mm -hmm. and which goes over to the grid you can start you can start the machine so over there that's going to be your uh, power project okay. so this could i leave it to your imagination you want to use it as biomass you want to use it as thermal okay. or you want to use it as ongc whatever it's up to your particular imagination huh. so once that starts off they will actually the power will come over here okay 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 so it is started okay you will get your particular power which uh, gets generated like what i told the 50 kilowatt would come in mm -hmm. from the uh, lines which okay. is there and then it will go on to our particular power amplification machine okay okay which we have kept over here the green gyro machine let's like switch that on okay i'll go uh, okay and then you would see that the power gets transmitted to the yeah. motor yeah from the motor the fly wheel starts running correct and then it will turn uh, in such it will uh, turn with so much of rpm in such a way such that a 250 kilowatt machine okay it gets amplified so the 50 kilo 50 kilowatt would went in as an input will come out as 250 kilowatts okay and that goes that will get exported through this particular uh, distribution box okay 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 uh. okay okay what which uh, gets uh, comes in as an input goes okay. to the transmission lines okay. goes over to our particular machine okay. where 10 kilowatt is being utilized by the motor okay. the fly wheel starts to run through the green gyro box okay. and then our 250 kilowatt alternator which is there the electromechanical energy get comes out okay. and gets exported okay 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 so your 50 kilowatt gets amplified to 250 kilowatt okay and okay. whatever is being exported is 250 kilowatt to the grid okay. so this is how Yeah, you were asked for a proof of concept, correct, correct. and I am yeah. delivering your proof of concept. Oh, okay, so okay, we have okay. amplified an amount of power, an X amount of power, amplified it, gave the desired output. 
similarly for any sort of a power project okay. we can actually amplify the power and give it out okay. so that is our agenda okay got it